Hey everybody, it's Monday and that means it's time for art class. Today, we're going to be drawing one of the minions. So, as always, you're going to need a pencil and a black line marker along with your paper. And today for colors, if you want to make a traditional minion, you can use yellow, blue, brown, and black. Or, you can make your own minion and come up with your own colors. Either way, we're going to have some fun today. So, I hope you're ready. Here we go. Today, we are going to be creating a minion. We're going to make sure that he takes a good amount of paper, so we're going to put him right center of our paper. And in order to create his body, he's basically a large oval-like shape, but we're going to start by making the sides of his body first. And I'm going to do that by making two lines that go down the paper, straight across from each other. These are going to be the size of his body, and we want to make sure he takes up a good amount of the paper right in the middle. Now this, those lines are going to be about the same size, and then in order to make it a larger oval shape, we're going to round from one side of the top to the other side of the top to make the top of our head. And then the bottom is going to be very rounded on the corners and then it's going to come across straight on the bottom so that we can build his legs off of it. So we are starting with very sketchy lines. I noticed that I want this one to be a little bit farther out right there. So I'll go over it, change it up, clean it up. And then once I have the shape that I like, this is pretty good. We'll keep going. So now that I have the overall shape for my minion's body, I'm going to now start proportioning, proportioning out his upper head and his lower body. So the minions wear overalls and they take a part of the lower body. You're going to use not half but a little bit under half to do this part. So I'm going to start not halfway but a little bit under halfway. And right in the middle, I'm going to make a line. Now there should be even space on both sides of this line, as this is going to be the top of my minion's overalls. I'm going to come down on each side of that line, making the flap of the top of the overalls, and I'm going to go straight out to my sides. It kind of feels like where I started to curve is where we start at there, where we go out to. So we've got this flap for our overalls, the bottom part of our overalls. We need to make our straps. Our straps are going to be uh, rectangles and they're going to be at an angle. So they're going to come across the top here at an angle and overlap. Like I said, they're going to be a nice rectangle. There you go. Now because those overlap, I can erase a little bit under it. And as a matter of fact, I'm also going to put two little circles for the buttons. Our bottom half of our body is coming together pretty good here. Let's go ahead and start putting a little bit of detail in the top. Now we split our shape kind of straight in the half. On, up on the top half, right under our curve, I'm going to start making my eyes. Now my eyes are going to be pretty big and I'm going to start by making two circles. They're not going to touch the very top, but they're going to go up pretty big. And they're also going to touch each other. So where I start with one, I'm going to make one right next to it and they are going to be bumping. They're going to be right on top of each other. 
we want them to take up the majority of the middle of the face there's going to be some room on the side for how the goggles connect but they should be nice and big now this part in the middle where they combine or connect we're going to erase that and then we're going to create the individual eyes so I'm going to make a smaller circle inside of my big circle this will be one eye lens and then leaving some space in the middle I'm going to make another one we're using light sketchy lines so if we don't get that perfect circle we like right away that's fine we can work up to it we can build up to it and when we get it the way we like we'll leave it so there we go moving around racing a little bit building up to the, the shape that I like and that's pretty good for me now from the sides of my two goggles I'm gonna put two lines out and these will represent the straps of the goggles after we have that I'm going to come into the middle of my eye and create the actual pupil or the eyeball so I'm going to make a smaller circle right in the middle of the eye now does yours have to be right in the middle of the eye no if you put them over to the sides your character will look like he's looking to the side if you put them up to the top your character will look like he's looking up to the top you guys can do however you would like now I'm gonna make a little tiny black dot in the middle of those eyes and you can see his eyes are starting to come to life a little bit so we have his eyes we have his overalls let's start putting together the rest of his body first we're gonna make his mouth so a little bit farther up from his overalls I'm gonna make a line and it's gonna go all the way across the bottom of his goggles so from one side to the other all the way across then I'm going to make a curved line from the top of that line to back to the bottom of the line on the other side almost like an upside down smile Our minion is going to have some teeth, and in order to make those teeth, I'm going to start with putting the line straight down the middle. Not all the way down, though, just coming out. And then I'm going to make two big teeth on each side of that line. One, two. Just making some loops. And then I'm going to make another part of the tooth. These ones are going to be kind of going into the curve of his mouth. We'll put some other teeth there. Now we've got a pretty good face and a body. Let's we'll start making our arms and legs. Our arms are going to come from the side of our body. You see how this rectangle that made our strap overhangs a little bit? We're going to come straight down off the side where that overhangs on both sides, and we're going to come all the way down past. The leg a little bit I'm sorry not past the leg but past the bottom of the body a little bit and then I'll go straight across this is gonna cut the arm off and get into where our glove are gonna be we're gonna make a little oval on each side that will be the top of our glove and then I'm gonna make a circle to represent my hands now, we have our arms, our hands, we gotta make some feet. Minions have very, very small legs. So we're gonna make some very thin rectangles. One, two, and this will have our this will show our legs. To make our feet, our feet are only gonna go down as far as the ends of our hands. So we're gonna come straight down on the inside but then I'm going to round out and curve out on the outside to make some feet and they're going to be just as like I said about the same size as my hands now to give our hands a little bit of detail 
on the inside of them facing the foot. I'm going to put a little, little shape here, a little curved line to make a thumb. And a little curved line to show where fingers might be. We're looking pretty good. We're just going to add a few more details. First, we're going to give a little bit of hair. So towards the top, I'm going to make a couple of strands coming out in each direction. I'm going to go straight to the middle of the top, and I'm going to go out this way. One, two, three, four times. I'm going to go to the top again and go out this way four times. One, two, three, four. <laughs> so we got some hair. Next detail I'll make is a pocket or a pouch right in the middle of my overalls. I'm going to come down under where my straps fell and make a line straight across. Then I'm going to curve from the bottom from one side to the other to make a pocket. Now the minions work for Gru and he has a symbol. It's going to kind of look like making a triangle make a lower one, sort of a diamond shape, and then we're going to put a G in the middle of it. Pretty cool, right? So guys, if I erase some of these extra lines I don't like inside of my hands, I start to have my minion come together. Clean up my goggles a little bit. Have a little bit of my foot I gotta finish. Awesome, we're making a really cool minion. Now, I'm gonna put a couple lines here. Show where maybe his pockets fall. But after that, I think we're ready to start inking. Ink is when I take a black line marker or a black pen and go over my lines that I want to be permanent to make them stick out more. Also, when I go to color, I make sure that the lines don't blend into the color. A lot of circles in this picture, so when I'm inking I go very slow, try to keep my circles straight as I can. Here on this line, I'm going to be a little wavy though for my straps. The top, sides of my face, my mouth, and when I do my mouth here, I'm going to go ahead and Fill in the space under my teeth black. It's kind of hard to see back there. So while I'm here, let's fill it in black. Start filling in my straps. Kind of one to one. I do something on one side, I'll go do it on the other. Get everything done, moving down my picture. Now, does your minion's arms have to be going straight down to his sides? No. You can put his arms upward. You can put one up and one down. Does your minion have to have the same mouth as mine? No, maybe you want to put an upward smile on it. You guys are always welcome to be creative and add your own touch. So as I get done here, just got my hands to finish. Be a little bit more wavy at the bottom of my hands to show a little bit of fingers. It's pretty cool. Now our minion needs some color, and minions are famously yellow. So first, I'm gonna use my eraser and erase any lines I don't want there to be there, so my thing is nice and clean. Ooh. 
I lost some of his hair. Oh no. Alright. We got our hair back. Let's go ahead and add some color. That is a pretty cool looking minion, guys. Now, he looks pretty confused or upset. So, I'm going to put a background line in behind him. And just for fun, I'm going to put an explosion. And maybe something went wrong. I'm going to come up, and I'm going to make a lot of triangle like lines and then on the inside I'm gonna make the same thing they don't have to match up and then on the outer part we're gonna use orange for part of the explosion and then the inner part of the explosion I'll use yellow Now it looks like his face is a big, uh oh, something went wrong. His boss isn't going to be happy. It's nice and fun to tell stories with our pictures. So this is my picture. I hope you guys add something funny in your background or maybe even try to draw some different minions. When we get done with our picture, as always, we sign it because we are proud of all the hard work we put in. I like my picture, and I'm also proud of all the work you've been putting into yours, too. And there we have it, guys. We're all done with our minion. I really enjoyed drawing with you today, and I hope you had a great time. I hope to see you later this week for more art class. Have a great day. Be creative. Be kind. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.